Hi guys, welcome to my next coding video for my 2018 uh, Mark 7.5 Golf R. Uh, today we are going to be disabling the annoying beep that happens when you are um, you have the ignition on in your car and you open your driver's side door and it beeps continuously. So in other words, you can't really have the radio on or anything. It'll just keep beeping, beeping, beeping. So <clears throat> If I, uh, I have the ignition on right now, and if I open the car door here, you can see I get the little ignition on warning, and it's just beeping like crazy. So you'd have to turn the ignition off to get that to stop. So we're just going to disable that so it doesn't beep. Um, I know it's supposed to warn you, so you turn off your ignition, but... Um, Again, if you lock your car, then same thing will happen and you won't have to worry about it. So, we're going to open up our OBD11 app again today. Okay, and this time we're going to go into the control unit 17. Now again, this varies a little bit by what you might see on the forum. So it's called Dashboard in the new software. I think on the uh, Mark 7s it was labeled as Instruments or something like that. But you're going to go under 17 for Dashboard. Then we're going to go down to Security Access. You're going to type in 25327. And hit OK. It'll say it's been accepted. Then we're going to go to adaptation and we're looking for an entry that says ignition active so they're all in alphabetical order so if you just scroll down so it's an ignition active message actuator in this particular case so it's a little bit different than what it used to be um, so again the wording has changed and by default when you go into there it'll have a driver door as its default I have it at all doors right now because I was just playing with it to see what would happen. Um, but what you want to change it to is no display. Okay. So what happens is in the display you won't get that message and then um, the beep won't go along with it at the same time. So again you're in ignition active message actuator and you're going to say OK, no display and then push and hold and then you should get adaptation accepted. So now, again we still have the ignition on. If I open my driver's side door, no noise. No annoying beep. Okay, you also don't get the little message in the dash that says ignition is on. Okay, but there's no annoying beep. Okay, and if I start the car, actually let me uh, disconnect the OBD11 here first. Turn off the car, and I'm just going to pull out the module. Okay, now we're going to start the car up. Alright, so we got a little welcome thing. Just giving my ding for my seatbelt, but um, oh, hold on, I got the uh, OBD 11s. Crazy there. Um, that little noise you heard is OBD 11, it gives you a little uh, alert saying you forgot to take your dongle out of your of the car. Uh, so the car's running. Open the door. No problem, right? I wouldn't expect to see it because the car's running, so that's fine. But if I turn the car off... Okay, now it's completely off. And of course, open the door. I'm not going to get a message because the ignition's not on. But if I turn the ignition on... Okay, now I don't get that annoying beep that's telling me my ignition is on. So that beep I was getting before, that was like beep, 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 which, by the way, does not stop. It just keeps going until you either close the door or turn off your ignition. So if you're in your car cleaning it, you want to listen to your music or something like that, you'd have to listen to the annoying beep. Now, no longer have to. So that one is disabled. 
Now I know a lot of guys go on and disable all the chimes. They disable the seatbelt chime and everything. I'm not going to do that um, because the seatbelts are a safety thing. And honestly, I've had a couple of cases where a passenger forgot or didn't put their seatbelt on and I didn't notice it. Um, and then the chime went off um, that the seatbelt wasn't fastened. So it's, it's uh, I mean, everybody fastens their seatbelt usually when they get in the car. So there's no reason not to have that uh, on because um, it doesn't it doesn't chime when you're just standing still and you have the ignition on you only get those six little chimes and it stops right away so I'm not turning that off on mine uh, I know lots of guys do um, but for me this is the only annoying uh, beep that happens when you're in the car you have the ignition on and you know the doors open and you're doing something but you don't want to hear this beep so so that's it so I'll show you the uh, final uh, coding steps in a second uh, again, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, look look for my next one coming up soon. Okay, so here's our steps for this one. This is the disable ignition on warning when the door is opened. Uh, so basically on this one, you're going to go into control module 17, which is called dashboard. I think it used to be called instrument cluster on uh, the old software. Um, the security access code you're going to have to enter is 25327. Then you're going to go into adaptations, uh, which I forgot to add here. So actually, let me put that in there real quick. And then once you get to adaptation, you're going to do, you're going to search for the entry called um, ignition active message actuator, and it will by default be set to driver's door and you want to change it to no display. So there's three choices, driver's door, all doors, or no display. So no display will turn it off. Um, and that's it, pretty simple one. Now, a quick note about this. Um, if you notice in my video, when I opened the door, when I had the ignition on before I changed it, the dashboard came up with a message saying the ignition was on and you got that, uh, that beep, that annoying beep that just kept going on and on. So since you won't get that now, um, there is a possibility that you could turn the ignition on in your car, whether you're cleaning it and whatever you're doing, and forget to turn it back off. So since you're not going to get that warning anymore, what will happen is when you close the car door and you try to lock it, the car won't lock. And if you look inside the door, inside the window, you're going to see on the dash it's going to say something like the key's not in range or something like that, or key can't be located. And the ignition and everything will still be on. It will not turn off. Uh, so I don't know if it has a timer on it or not. Eventually it will turn off, but uh, just keep that in mind that um, you won't be able to lock the car until you go into the car and then turn the ignition off manually. So that is why they have this warning message. So I'm not 100% uh, sure I'm going to leave it off yet. We'll see what happens. Um, because when I pull into the driveway, remember I coded it before so that when you open the door, it will shut off all the electronics, right? So I pull into the driveway, I shut off the engine, the electronics are still on, but as soon as I open the door handle, the driver's side door, everything shuts down. And then I close the door and lock it and that's pretty much it. The only time that I would have a problem is if I just opened the car up, didn't start the engine, and just turned on the ignition. Because I want to listen to the radio while I'm doing something in the car or whatever. Now, when I leave the car, I won't get a warning anymore. I'm going to have to make sure I remember to turn off the ignition. Or, when I try to lock the car, I should notice that the car doesn't lock. Like, you won't hear the door locks lock. If you have the flash, your lights flash, or the beeping sound, you'll notice you don't get that either, so you should know the car is not locked. But if you look through the window, you're going to see it's still on the uh, dashboard. Everything is still up and running, and you're going to get a message saying it can't find the key or the key's not in range. So just just a side note with this one, you know, everything has a cause and effect. So before you just think you're going to get rid of that annoying beep, think about also like how many times it might save you by telling you the ignition is on. So just uh, Play with it give it a give it a try see which way you like it and again you can always turn it back on all right so that's it for this video and uh look 
look for some other ones coming up pretty soon. Thanks.